What is up guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so as you guys can already tell, I have my box from Lit Joy Crate and I am so excited. For those who don't know, Lit Joy Crate is a subscription box company. They not only make book box subscriptions, but they also make magical Harry Potter subscription boxes. These boxes are quarterly, so we get them every three months. And the theme of this box is the Big Seven, as we can see on the front of the box. And as always from Lit Joy Crate, their box is absolutely gorgeous. So this is the cover. And on this side, we see Harry with his stag and Hedwig. And then on this side, we see Draco with the dark mark. And on the other side, we see Luna with her Patronus. You can even see her radish earrings. And on this side, we see Ron and Hermione and their Patronuses, his dog and her otter. And on the bottom, we see a Thestral in the Forbidden Forest. Again, I say it every time I unbox Lidger Crate. I really do love how they design their boxes. It's almost like an item in the box because these really are boxes you wouldn't just want to throw away. You would want to keep these forever. But let's go ahead and jump right in. Sneak peek. Again, this box is based off the big seven, which is Harry, Ron, Hermione, Ginny, Luna, Neville, and Draco. That is the big seven. So this box is entirely based on them. But right on top, as always, is the spoiler card. And I love how they designed it where it's kind of like a yearbook. That is really cute, but as always, we're gonna save this for last. And right on top, we just have a brown box that says Lit Joy Crates. Oh, this is actually one of the add-ons that I got. And it's a little dessert plate from Madame Puddlefoot's Tea Shop. We even see a little tea setup in the middle with desserts. Even though I'm not a big tea drinker, I for real think I would have loved going to Madame Puddlefoot's Tea Shop just because of how it was described in the book. It's definitely my aesthetic, pink and girly. And this is like one of the only items I've ever really seen based off her tea shop. So of course I had to grab it and it's just so cute, so. So yeah, that was my first add-on. Oh, and I completely forgot to tell you guys, you might notice that my setup is very different. Um, I'm missing a lot of my Harry Potter items. That is because I finally, finally have my six bookshelves up in my room. They are all up. I'm actually in the process of decorating. I am so excited to finally be able to do a room tour, a new bookshelf tour. So yeah, lots in the work right now. And next, I have my two keys in the Alohomora collection. Again, these are an add-on, so you do have to pay extra. But this is the first one, and it is Hagrid's key, or as the key says, Keeper of Keys and Grounds. And not only that, we have Hagrid's hut on the top of the key with some pumpkins. This also comes with three other little keys because of course you can't have just one key for the keeper of keys. So this one has a little owl on top. This one has the Hogwarts crest with an H and this one kind of has like a hog's head on it, which does kind of make sense because we all know Hagrid loves to go there and drink. But we also have Hagrid's lantern. Like how amazing is this? The perfect design for Hagrid. I, I'm just obsessed, obsessed with these keys. And the next key is to Ollivanders. So right here we have the key to Ollivanders and it looks like this moves. Hold on, let me take it out. And it does, so the top here spins. Oh, I love that. And on the back, we even see the front of Ollivander's shop with some stars. And attached to the key, we have a little wand box from Ollivander's. But on the back, it has a quote from Ollivander, his most famous quote, which is, the wand chooses the wizard. I love this. It even opens up and has a wand on the inside like an actual wand box from Ollivander's. So on the inside, we see the Elder Wand, which is kind of funny because Ollivander didn't make the Elder Wand. We all know that Death, or the Peverell Brothers, however you want to look at it, made that wand. So it's kind of funny that that's the wand they chose out of the entire series, one of the few wands he didn't make. <laughs> 
but it also came with a little tag here that says maker of fine wands since 382 BC with a wand and Ollivander's logo. Again, the perfect design for Ollivander's. Obsessed absolutely obsessed with these. But right on top, we have our first item from the actual box, and it's obviously a Luna item. And it's an infinity scarf with tons of different items on here to represent Luna. We see her hair Patronus, the Quibbler, her Spectra Specs, even her Converse red shoes, her radish earrings, even her signature lion hats. I have to say, I love the design of this, even how it kind of has that like ombre effect with the purple and pink. But to be completely honest with you guys, I'm a little bummed out that this is a scarf. Again, you guys know this, I've said it in the past, I am just not a scarf person. I do not wear scarves. And y'all, I live in the South. It's already hot down here. We're getting in the 80s, 90s. So like a scarf is definitely not something I would be wearing anytime soon. And I honestly feel like this would have been the perfect design for a pillowcase instead of a scarf. I mean, I honestly kind of wish that this would have been the add-on instead of Luna's lion hat or even her mural blanket, which again, I really do wish I could have gotten. But again, guys, this box is not cheap. These add-ons are not cheap. So sadly, I just couldn't afford to get all of the add-ons, but I definitely think I preferred the Luna add-ons over the item we got in the box which which is sad. So if you've been watching my videos for a while, you might remember that we got a Luna Lovegood special edition box from Geek Gear. And if you watched that video, you will know that I wasn't in love with that box. It didn't just blow me away. So afterwards, I actually kind of created my dream Luna box. I even made a PowerPoint because I'm not much of a nerd. And if I can find it, I'll even put some pictures up of some of the item ideas that I had. But the first item that I came up with that I thought represented Luna more than anything else was a Friends banner, which is based off the mural that Harry sees in Luna's room in book seven. And it would be several photo frames connected together to create a banner with the word friend connecting all of the photo frames. And you would have a picture in there of Harry, Ron, Luna, Neville, Jenny, but it would also have the option to take those art prints out and put your own picture frames in there. Like you could have your own friend banner with your own friends. Like, I don't know why, but I just thought that would be so freaking cool. Obviously, Luna is one of my favorite characters. So yeah, I'm a little bummed that I'm not in love with the Luna item, but. But moving on, and next we have our new collectible spell coin. For those who don't know, Litger Crate is doing a series of coins with different spells on them. And the spell this time is Expecto Patronum to produce a Patronus. And we even see, I'm assuming Harry on here because we have a stag Patronus. And on the back, as always, we have the wand motion for Expecto Patronum. Again, just like last time, I love these little coins. I love that they're doing a series. I do kind of wish they automatically included the little stand that goes with it. I mean, they're only like $5, but again, we spend a lot of money on these boxes. So I do kind of wish they would just automatically include the stands for us. And next we have a box with a really pretty design. And on the top, it says Ronald Billius. Weasley. Oh yeah, this is definitely based off the Deluminator because right here it says he must have known that you'd always want to come back, which is what Harry says to Ron. And it's a flashlight with this kind of green, black, marble design. I mean, a flashlight is a very nice, usable item. It's definitely something we could just throw in our purse and have and use whenever we need it. It's a very good flashlight. It's very bright. I don't wanna like blind you guys. And I appreciate that they went ahead and included batteries in our flashlight because I have none in my house. I have got to buy more batteries. But to be completely honest with you guys, I'm a little bummed out that Ron's item is a flashlight. I honestly think I would have preferred like an actual replica of the Deluminator or maybe even like a different design on here. I know they were trying to make it look like the Deluminator. I kind of wish they would have done the design of the box. Like they could have even have had this quote on the flashlight. Like that quote gives you all of the feels because we know Ron will always come back. So, I mean, I would have loved to have that quote on the actual flashlight instead of just the box. So, yeah, I definitely prefer the design of the box 
over the design of the flashlight. Again, not a bad item, just like before with the scarf, not a bad item. Just not my favorite. I kind of wish they would have done something else to represent these characters. But the flashlight did also come with a wrist strap. So if you want to, you can hook this on there. And next we have a brown package. Obviously this is a bookmark. Okay, so yes, it is a bookmark. It's actually a wood bookmark. And this is our Draco item. And it has a front and back design. On the front, we see just a side profile of Draco with like a constellation or zodiac sign. Not really sure what that is. But on the back, we see Draco holding a flower. We even see the dark mark on his arm. And it has a quote that says, we've all got both light and dark inside us. First off, let me just say, in general, I don't mind getting bookmarks. I love bookmarks. I collect bookmarks. We all know this. But the fact that the Draco item is a bookmark is so disappointing. Oh my gosh. I don't think I have ever been so disappointed in a bookmark in my entire life. Like I said earlier in the video, I'm currently decorating my Harry Potter bookshelves. Guess how many Draco items I have on my bookshelf? Zero. I have absolutely zero items on my bookshelves to represent Draco. The only Draco items I have in my collection is some art prints, another bookmark, and a magnet that I have on my fridge. That is the entirety of my Draco collection. He is such an underrepresented character in subscription boxes. So when Ledger Crate announced that they were doing the Big Seven and Draco was going to be in there, this was the item that I couldn't wait to see what Ledger Crate came up with. So the fact that it's a bookmark is again so disappointing. There are so many amazing Draco items that they could have done. His hand of glory could have done something based off that. His ring or even like a vanishing cabinet item. Like we all know how Draco nearly killed himself in book six trying to repair that vanishing cabinet. Like vanishing cabinet bookends. Because you have to have two to travel between them. Okay, I just thought of that and I'm kind of obsessed with that idea. Like that would be the best Harry Potter bookends ever because you literally have to have two. Please tell me that is a thing. If it's not, somebody make it a thing. It needs to happen. I want some Vanishing Cabinet bookends now. <laughs> so yeah, like I for real think they could have came up with so many other things other than a bookmark. And y'all, this isn't even a quote from Draco. Like I'm almost a thousand percent sure that this is a quote from Sirius. I might be wrong. It honestly made me think of Dumbledore at first, but I'm pretty sure Sirius said this. And if this just had to be a bookmark, if it just had to be a bookmark, I honestly would have preferred a bookmark that just that just touched you, gave you all of the feels. Like maybe instead of just a random side profile of Draco, we could have had an image of him in Moaning Myrtle's bathroom, like with him staring at the mirror and you can just see the anguish in his face. We could have even had Moaning Myrtle in the background when she was trying to comfort him. Like you could have seen the struggle in his eyes. And maybe on the back, we could have had the conversation that Draco had with Dumbledore in the astronomy tower. When Dumbledore is trying to save Draco, trying to save his soul, and Draco is like, I have no choice. He will kill me. Like, I have no choice. Like, that would have been so much better, in my opinion. Not saying that this isn't a gorgeous bookmark. I mean, whoever designed it, talent. Obviously talented. Way more than I could ever do. Just not my favorite design, especially for the fact that it's not even a quote from Draco. That kind of annoys me and I don't know why. Am I just being like super dramatic or is anybody else so disappointed that the Draco item is a bookmark? Let me know in the comments down below. Say Tabitha, you're out of your mind, you're dramatic, blah, 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 or if you agree. Uh, so yeah, there's that. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so sorry if I'm coming off so negative. I so do not mean to. Like again, these aren't bad items, it's just, I don't know, disappointing. Like I unbox a lot of boxes on my channel, but honestly, I kind of hold Ledger Crate to a whole different standard than I do any other box. Cause most of my other boxes are from like very small companies and Ledger Crate is a very big company. So I just expect so much more from Ledger Crate. 
And normally every single one of their items just wow me, just wow me. So I'm honestly just a little surprised that I have found these first few items so disappointing. Again, it could totally just be me. You guys might think I'm absolutely crazy and be like, these are the best items ever. I don't know. You might love them. I, I just, I, disappointing. That is going to be my word for this video. Disappointing. And next, it looks like we have a howler for Ronald Weasley Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Oh, it's just a little thing telling us about the Lunicorn membership, which as I've said in the past, I am a Lunicorn and I totally think it's worth becoming a Lunicorn. It's only $10 a month and you get a lot of different perks and you get points every single month that you can use later on to buy add-ons or other different items. It just says become a Lunicorn member today. Join and get 20% off any item in the Lunicorn store. Use code HOWLER20. So yeah, there's that. And next we have our themed art print. Again, this is kind of another collectible item that they're putting in every single one of their boxes. So of course, this one is based off the big seven. We see Hermione with a book. We even see Crookshanks. We see Draco holding a broom, Luna with her quibbler, Neville holding a magical plant, and we have Jenny back there. We even have Ron and Harry, and it looks like they're exchanging chocolate frog cards. And we even see Scabbers on Ron's shoulder. So yeah, love the design, very cool art print. Oh, and I do have another add-on, which is an enamel pin that says Valentine's Day 1996 at Madam Puddlefoot's Tea Shop. And it's just a design with her tea shop on there. You guys know I love enamel pins. And just like before with the dessert plate, I love that Madam Puddlefoot's Tea Shop is getting some items based on it. So I knew I just had to have this. And again, such a beautiful design. It even has some sparkle in there. And next, it looks like we got our Jenny item, which is a pin set. We have three different pins. Two of the enamel pins are of Jenny in her Hollyhead Harpies uniform, which apparently she is number six. And the third enamel pin has her famous quote on there, anything is possible if you've got enough nerve. It even has some pygmy puffs on there. Now I have to say, I really like this. <laughs> I really like this item. You guys know I love enamel pens, but I really love the design. Definitely represents Jenny very well. Now, Hollyhead Harpies has kind of become one of the most common used themes for Jenny items. But again, I'm a fan, I love this. And the fact that we got three different enamel pens to represent Jenny. And next we have a box with that kind of, um what's the word, stained glass design. And on the back, it says the boy who lived. So this is obviously going to be Harry's item. So it's an ornament, I do believe, with the same design as the box. I honestly don't know how I feel about this. It's very original. I've never seen an item like this done before. Now, I'm not quite sure if this is actual glass or if it's like metal with some resin in there. I can't really tell. It doesn't quite sound like glass. I, I don't know. I don't know what it's made of, but it definitely represents Harry. I mean, we have the golden snitch. We have his Patronus. We have the Deathly Hollow symbol with his lightning bolt in the middle. It even has the Gryffindor colors on the side. But for some reason, I'm not in love with the design of this. I honestly feel like it's a little too busy. Like they just have too much going on. Like they tried really hard to represent Harry. And so they just threw all of these different things on there. And honestly, I think maybe a simpler design would have been a lot prettier. And when you do hold it up into the light, you can kind of see some imperfections in the design. Like you can't really see it just looking at it. It has to be to the light. So yeah. I, again, I honestly don't know how I feel about this. I mean, I don't love it, but I like it. Maybe that's how I feel about it. Don't love it, but I like it. Very different, something very different. I do love that the box said the boy who lived because I've always wanted like a little shot glass with that on there because that's how they ended the first chapter of the very first book, a toast to the boy who lived and kind of at the end of the book because when Harry goes to Voldemort in the forest, Voldemort says, Harry Potter. The boy who lived, come to die. So yeah, I've always wanted more items just based off that quote. And next we have another photo strip, which again is another collectible item they're doing in every single box. 
Okay, so it's of Ron and Lavender, and it says, Happy Valentine's Day, Madam Puddlefoot's Tea Shop. I love you, Ron Ron. I kind of have mixed feelings about this because, again, I love that we have an item kind of based off Madam Puddlefoot's Tea Shop. I really don't like that this is based off Lavender and Ron because Lavender is not one of the big seven. Like, if you're going to do a big seven themed box, every item should be just based on the big seven. Like we could have seen Harry and Jenny together or we could have had Ron and Hermione's first kiss, like the one in the books, not the movie. There could have even been Basilisk Fangs falling from his arms when she kisses him. Like if you just wanted to do a couple, there are two in the big seven and you rarely see any items based on them as couples. So I kind of wish this would have been a different design. Again, not saying it's not a gorgeous design, but I kind of wish they would have stuck entirely to the big seven instead of having lavender and next it looks like we have a red box that says the only problem is I can't remember what I've forgotten <gasps> so this is obviously a Neville item oh my gosh yes 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 lit joy crate now this is what I'm talking about items that truly wow 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 me so obviously it is a remember all and I have to say this is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous it even has like the white swirl effect on the inside since it didn't turn red obviously I haven't forgotten anything oh and it even has like swirls on the outside like I actually already have a remember all um from Cherry Wallace's box with Geek Gear and I loved that it was very pretty but it was plastic and this is glass absolutely stunning and again very good quality it has some weight to it Wow, just wow. And even the box that this came in, love, absolutely love. Hands down my favorite item so far in this box. And next we have a little white box. And I honestly have no idea what this is. It has like a tab. Oh, <gasps> please tell me this is for the remember all because it lights up red. Yes. It is a stand for our remember all and it like lights up red in the middle. So obviously I've forgotten something now. Genius, absolutely genius. Wow, 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 wow. I love this item even more. I didn't think that was possible, but I do. <laughs> and next we have an art print of the big seven. And apparently this is when all of them become supermodels because wow, wow. Definitely not how I picture them in the books or even how they're described, but I have to say, I'm a fan of this art print. Very cool design. It's very different. I like how it's kind of black and white with the pops of color from all of their different items. Draco with his dark mark, Hermione with her time turner, of course, Harry with his lightning bolt, Ron with the crown because Weasley is our king. We see Neville with a plant on his shoulder. Oh, he even has Neville on his shoulder. We see Luna with her specter specs and Jenny with her wand with Arnold on her shoulder. I mean, cheekbones galore. Good gravy. Look at Draco. Dang. Okay. Wow. Again, not very accurate, but I like it. And we are finally to the last item in the box, which obviously is a Hermione item. Okay, so it's a ceramic pencil holder that says books and brilliance. And on the side, it says charms, cats, and cleverness. And on the back, we have a design with her time turner. I really like the design of this. It's very pretty. I love that it's also the Gryffindor colors. But I will say I'm a little surprised that Lidger Crate did this because they just did this exact thing for their Lainey Taylor collection. I mean, it's like the exact same thing, but a different design. So I don't know if maybe they just couldn't think up of a very good Hermione item, or maybe a lot of people just really loved that for the Lainey Taylor collection. So they decided to do it for this box as well. So yeah, I'm a little surprised. And again, I have like the exact same thing up here from Illumicrate. So not very original. It's kind of funny how items kind of go through subscription boxes where every box does the same item. So yeah, not saying I don't like this. I honestly think this is probably like my second or third favorite item in the box. I'm just kind of surprised. But guys, that was everything from the box. Let's take a quick look at the spoiler card just to make sure I didn't miss anything. So again, this was the cover, the 
yearbook. And it just talks about all of the different items. Again, I'm not gonna go through all of these. We have the Big 7 art print, the Spell Coin, the Remember All, which hands down, best item. The Harry Potter stained glass window hanging. Oh, so it is for your window. Again, I kind of wish they would have included something so we could actually hang it on our window. Um, the Big 7 theme art prints, the Hermione book vase, the photo strip, the Jenny Weasley enamel pens, the Ron's Deluminator flashlight, the Draco wood mark, and y'all, it even has kind of that conversation between Draco and Dumbledore on the astronomy tower. It says, Draco, years ago, I knew a boy who made all the wrong choices. Please let me help you. And then it says, I don't want your help. Don't you understand? I have to do this. I have to kill you or he's going to kill me. Like, why wasn't that on the bookmark? Like, that would have been so much better. I'm still a little salty about the bookmark, to be honest. And then we have the infinity scarf and then the two key add-ons. And the next box is magical classes. But as always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. I think both of mine are pretty obvious because I've already said it. The Remember All is definitely my favorite item. Least favorite is definitely Draco's bookmark. Um... I've never been so disappointed by a bookmark before. <laughs> Overall, I will say this is definitely not my favorite box from Lit Joy Crate, which is so surprising. I've been getting their Magical Edition boxes for a while, and I don't think I've ever, ever been disappointed in a box before. Like, not including my add-ons, I really think I only loved one item and liked two others. Maybe three. I still don't know how I feel about the stained glass window. But like, oh, and the art print. I did like the art print. But the bookmark, the photo strip, the infinity scarf, even kind of Hermione's item. Like, I feel like they could have done so much more with this box, especially Draco's item. Again, I'm not saying any of these items are bad. Like, they're, none of this is bad. And I'm not saying this is a bad box. Just not my favorite. Definitely, definitely not my favorite. I feel like they could have done more. Or maybe I'm just being super picky and weird and you think I'm crazy, which is fine. If you do, let me know. <laughs> or honestly, it could just be I loved their Weasley box so much. So coming from that to this, it's just, just not my favorite. Not my favorite. But yeah, y'all will definitely have to let me know what you thought of this box in the comments down below. I'm very interested to see what the general consensus is for this box. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you wanna join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. <laughs> Description box company. Say that five times fast. And um, oh my god, I would have died. Like I always say, Litcher Crate is really good at getting money. Let's see how it looks on. No, I don't even care enough. But I mean, who am I? Who am I? <laughs> You did, you did Draco dirty. Oh, Literary Crate, come on. Uh, Y'all, I've been talking so much, my voice is going. <laughs> I'm getting so high pitched and worked up. My voice is like, what are you doing? Our pen. As always with Litcher Crate, anything they do will always be amazing quality. I'm not knocking the quality, just the design, I guess. <laughs> I couldn't, oh no. Wow. Is this like slow motion? Oh, okay, do not drop this, Tabitha. If only I had cheekbones like that. Mm. Ah. And y'all. Anyway, okay, I'm ranting.